Create this project dashboard with me using Excel in just six minutes. The template is Lesson 98i in the workbook. First, let's copy this entire section and paste it. You can copy and paste this as many times as you need. I'm going to clear this section out so I can show you exactly what these formulas need to be. First, we're getting our percentage done, which is going to be a count if all of these boxes, whichever ones say the word yes, divided by a count of all the possibilities in due date. So it's very important in here that you enter a due date for any milestone. Next, let's add our progress bar. This is going to be the repeat function. Type it in exactly as shown. And I'm using 150 because of the width of my bar. Adjust that number as needed to make sense for your progress bar. And then we're going to multiply it by that percentage complete. This is the playbill font. And then for this column, we're going to do a count if for anything that says yes. Next, let's test this out by adding a date. Again, these are key to make sure that dates are there. And then if it were complete, you would say yes, and now it's counting properly. So let's do a little bit of formatting, and then let's add another date and another date, and you can see that it's working really well. So I'm going to add a yes again just to test. I always like to fill in the completed number that it should be. So for example, I put in yes three times to make sure it totals 100%. That's a great way to spot check. So next, let's just fill in these milestones with something generic, make sure it makes sense for you. And then the responsible party, let's say that LP's initials are responsible for all three of these. So next at the top, let's say we want to see how many milestones each assignee has. So we're going to count if the first section says NH, make sure you press F4 to lock those cells so you can just drag this down later. And then we need to add the second section. So we're just repeating that same formula. Now we're just going to drag it down. And instead of having to retype that in, you can just adjust the initials here. So I'm going to go through and make sure that the initials for each one matches the initials that are left listed in the column. And this last one is going to be LP. So we're just going to adjust that. And now we have a count of each total milestones assigned to each person. So let's insert a chart. You could pick anything you want. Let's go with a 3D bar column. I'm going to delete the title because I already typed a heading in here and I just need to resize it to put it in place with those little circles in the corners. Now, if you want this to look even more professional, you can go up to the top here in format or in chart design and you can make a bunch of changes or you could just pick one of the quick styles that they have. You can see there's a bunch of different ones. Let's go with the dark gray. Now I'm going to finish resizing this and getting it into place. And then we're going to skip to the next item. So up top here to get all project progress here, we need to do a sum of I-24 and I-33. That's where our totals are. Then we need to divide it by the count of the due dates because that's telling us how many milestones we have. And that ratio is going to be the done. And then all you need to do is subtract one minus the done percentage to get the remaining that are not done. So if I go up here to insert donut, I, same thing, can do some formatting here. I pressed the wrong button, but you can do some formatting up here if you want, or we can go back to that quick styles and let's check out the various styles. Let's go with the similar to the one on the right. Delete the chart title and the legend. We're not going to need that because we've got it typed in here in the red and green, and we're also going to color code these red and green to make it really clear. So I'm going to do a fill of green for the ones that are completed, and then no border, and then I'm going to click on the left side for the ones that are not done, and we're going to turn that red. And you can change the donut hole size on this to make it stand out even more. And then same thing to resize this, you grab those little circles in the corner, and then let's move it into place. I'm going to allow the done and not done to show, so I'm going to resize it a little bit smaller. Now you could cover over that if you want to do something with shapes, I'm going to show you in a minute. So I resized this down a little bit so I can put a divider in here. So you could fill this with like a dark gray, black, and then we could shrink it just to kind of divide the top images from the bottom portion. Now next, what we need to do is the conditional formatting to change those bar colors. So it's really important to watch how you enter these formulas. So copy them exactly as shown. We are referencing the I column where the percentage is for each of these. So when you go to format, make sure you're on font because this is actually changing the font color. You're not filling, hit okay for green. So I'm saying anything over 67% is going to be green. And then for this one, I'm saying anything that falls between the 0.31 and the 0.67 
is going to be yellow, a mid-range color. And then again, once you have this entered, you wanna to go to format and make sure it's on font because we need to change the font color. Looks good, so let's go to format. And we're gonna change this font color to yellow. Again, that's like the middle range, but you know what, you could do these in different shades of blue or shades of gray, whatever you would prefer. And then for this last one, this is what's going to be red. This is gonna be anything that's roughly below that 30% range or 0.31. We want that to be red. Now you can adjust those numbers as you see fit. If you wanted to only see green for 100%, you would just change that 0.67 to one. So let's go with red, hit okay and okay. And now we should do some testing. So now what you need to do is I'm going to skip through this, but you could pause here and finish the conditional formatting. You have to repeat the exact same steps again. So now this is what I was talking about with the shape. If instead of seeing those boxes right below, you'd rather just link to the done percentage for the middle, you could do that. And then you could resize this whole donut chart so it totally covers it and it would be the same size as the bar chart. So if you do some different formatting here, you can make this bold, white, you can center it. And then as the done adjusts, your percentage in the middle is going to adjust and you just wouldn't look at not done because you, would, you could cover over that by resizing the chart. So when we're in here formatting, you could make some different changes here if you'd like with the bar chart as well. And you could change this to cylinder. You could also click on each one of those bars and change the individual colors to the individual person, but let's test it out. Now, as you're adding your completed milestone note, you are good to go.